Did you know that 70 million people worldwide stutter? That's one out of every 100 people around the world have a speech impediment. Here in the United States, that's 3 million people, and I am one of those people. And I make my living as a broadcaster and public speaker. Hey, it's a trigger, Rich Bond Trigger, and this is National Stutter Awareness Week, and I'm sharing about how to overcome it, how to encourage you, whether you stutter or you know of somebody that stutters, some insights, some tips to help you get past that and really enjoy a life of freedom. Growing up for me, my stutter was horrendous. Back in school, you would stand up in class and you would read those books out loud in front of your peers. And for me, I could barely get through a word or a sentence. My stutter was so bad growing up. My face would get flushed, the emotions would get worse, because the more I knew I stuttered, the worse it got. The more I heard the snickering and the jabs and the name calling, the worse my stutter got. What changed it for me? Comic books. Now, you may not think that's a powerful reading tool to help people out, but let me explain that. My grandmother was a great influence in my life growing up, and my grandmother understood I have a great and very vivid imagination. She knew that I was not stupid like the children were saying. She knew I was not illiterate at all because she knew I could read and comprehend at a very, very high level at an early age. The problem was I could not get my mind and my mouth to sync up and have it come out in an orderly fashion. And therefore, I'd get nervous and frustrated, and I would cry and stomp off, and the name calling would escalate. Well, my grandma found out that I loved comic books, and she knows that was one of my best things to read, that and Hardy Boys. My grandma would literally take comic books and sit down with me on Saturdays at her house, and she would open up the pages of a brand new Spider-Man or Batman or Green Lantern, and she would ask me to read it out loud and take on the characters and do it like I saw it on Saturday morning cartoons. I learned how to do voices. I learned how to do characters. I used the creativity locked within me to begin to overcome my reading and speech and gain confidence as a speaker at a very early age. Now, my stutter lasted for a very long time, but comics added so much to my reading and speaking ability because when you read comics, your mind is fully engaged. Now, you may not realize this, but comics require you to think. They really do. They're not just simple wang bang action adventure. There's a thing called white space in comic books. That's between the panels. You have an action panel, an action panel, and you have a little white space between them. Your mind has to imagine what took place between one action scene, between one conversation, and another. You literally make up the rest of the story yourself. As a storyteller, and I've been doing this for years, I lean in on that, and that's part of my overcoming my stutter. Because I can make up any story I want what took place. I can add words, and my grandmother would ask me to do that. She would ask me, what took place there, Rich? What's the rest of the story in that white space? Comic artists, authors, they know that white space is really important. And that's where you find freedom and you begin to find your own tongue and find your own speech and embrace your own creativity. The other thing about comic books is there's a visual element into it. Many of us at Stellar are visual driven people. Visuals help us to communicate. Actors, Bruce Willis, Julia Roberts, and artists like Ed Sheehan all stutter and they all have used visual medium storytelling as artists to better unlock their ability to speak and share. Now their stutters are still with them, but because of how they use their imagination, because of how they use the creative arts to come alive, it has helped them have amazing careers like myself. I've been now speaking, traveling, and training other speakers for 25 years now, and I have a stutter, and it's still with me. Did you know that more than 70 million people worldwide stutter? That's one out of every 100 people in the world have a speech instead of it. So let me encourage you today. If you are looking for a way to help that loved one, that son, that daughter, that student that is struggling with how to overcome a stutter, 
invest in their creativity. Help them unlock the imagination that they have because I bet they have it. And get them a comic book. Sit them down and ask them to begin to read and imagine and dream and take on those roles. Bruce Willis talks about this all the time. He took on a role to help him overcome his speech. And now people love what Bruce Willis does. Comic books are far more than you think they are. They are a powerful tool in helping people overcome stutters. It worked for me. It may work for you or that loved one that you know. That's part of my story. This is National Stutter Awareness Week. I want people to be aware. Stutters need your love and encouragement every day. It is not easy to overcome for many, many people. There is no cure for stuttering. There's no shot, there's no pill that can overcome it. It takes practice and training, and I never had formal coaching. But I did have a grandma that loved me and helped me to prove it. And I'm forever grateful for my grandma for spending that time and helping me to overcome my speech impediment. There it was right there. And help overcome my fears and the labeling and the branding to step up on the stage and do what I've done and what I love for many, many years. If you have any questions about overcoming these things, about how to overcome and defy the ads despite your stutter, your fear of public speaking, I would love to hear from you. It's the trigger, Rich Byron trigger. God bless. Have a great day.